What up, what up, what up? Questions with Preston. This is the backyard edition. Um, yeah, FYI, I'm gonna start doing these videos uh, every week, and they'll just be, some of them will just be me. And the other ones will be all theatrical and big and all of that fun stuff. Um, so today is about how the universe can only do for us what the universe can do through us. So, my father's in town. Some of you guys who look at my Instagram, at Preston Smiles, um, or my Facebook, know that my father's in town for his 65th birthday. And I took him on this amazing adventure uh, surfing, which was awesome. My dad got to have a first at 65, which is amazing. But anybody who knows anything about transformation or trying to um, lift your vibration and, and actually be in alignment with who you are know that when your family come in town that is the ultimate test because the, your family usually hold you where you used to be you're always little Preston to them or little Josh or little Kelly or whatever and however you used to be when you were younger they hold you there um, or they attempt to hold you there so this weekend has been slightly challenging I, I love my father but he can be a lot sometimes and you know, I've been working through it. But something amazing happened this morning. So I go out to surf, and I'm by myself this time, and a buddy of mine starts talking about how he saw the picture on Instagram with my father, and he gets all choked up. And he, and he says that his father is about to die, essentially, and that um, he feels like he wasted time, and that he wishes he could share an experience like that with his father which immediately brought me back to like how thankful I am that I still have a dad. That I have a dad despite all of his craziness that still shows up and still wants to hang out and still wants to be cool and try new stuff. Right, that's the first thing, I'm grateful for that. Like seriously, we all have somebody, whether it's a grandmother, a mom, uh, a caretaker, somebody who you could be thankful for. I know they get on your nerves, I know it because I'm experiencing it. But like, seriously, we still have them. So we get to honor them. So that's one. Two, I get out of the water, I come home, I'm you know, being nice to him and like having a good time, and we decide that we're gonna go to this cafe. So this is about the universe using us. So we get to this cafe and there's only um, one table available, and that one table is connected to another table where this couple is speaking. A guy and a woman are speaking. And the I personally didn't want to interrupt him. So I was like, Daddy, don't worry about it. He's like, no, no, we're gonna sit here. Right? So my dad's super forceful sometimes. He's like, no, we'll sit here. So he goes and sits right next to these people. The tables are connected. So I'm like, oh, can you just pull the table? He's like, whatever. So I pull the table over, I sit down. As soon as I sit down, I hear the guy say something about uh, a particular organization, which I just came in contact with like two months ago. Right? And I'm like, wow, that's interesting. And wow, this dude looks super familiar, but I'm like, I don't know who he is. So I'm eating and I'm thinking about like what he's saying and I'm trying not to ear hustle and like be all up in their business. Um, but I'm like, I know I know this guy and I know he just mentioned an organization which I'm working with. So I go off to go get a juice. I come back, I sit down, they're speaking and the couple gets up to leave and the guy, the guy uh, looks at me and as soon as he looks at me, that's my opportunity. Something in, in me says, stop it. So I say, sir, excuse me, you look super familiar. Did I happen to surf with you this morning? And he was like, whoa, you're the guy who was next to me at Malibu at 6.30 in the morning. Like out of all the places and the 16 million people in LA, this dude's sitting next to me, right? So that's one. I'm like, yeah, of course. And what's crazy is I heard you speak about Chris from such and such organization. Like, I know that guy. And they're like, wow, that's amazing. So we start talking about surfing and he says, well, I run an organization where I take inner city kids and I teach them surf lessons. I would love for you to come out. I said, that's awesome. Actually, I have a surf school called Smile Surf School. If you need my boards, you can totally use it. And at that moment, him and the woman go, what? And they have this like astonished look on their face. They proceed to tell me that the organization had been using surfboards from another uh, surf school, but that that surf school went out of business because the factory burned down where all the boards were. And that he only had two weeks to find 10 boards. Guys, I have 10 boards in my backyard. 
The universe was using me to be an angel, to be a gift, to be a, a present for somebody else, to be a blessing for someone else. So many things had to go right and so many things had to go wrong, which in reality, they all went right. That is synchronicity at its best. So many times we get so caught up with we're late and we need to get somewhere, but think about the people who missed their flight for 9-11. Think about the person who decided to go get coffee right after, right before the first plane hit. You see, you never know how you're being used. You never know. So if you get anything out of the story, just know that you're always in the right place at the very perfect moment. You are being used. The universe can only do for you what it can do through you. Clear your channel. Say yes to God, the universe, the planet, divine intelligence, whatever you would like to call it. Just know that we are all being used. You are a gift on this planet. And as long as there is breath in your body, you get to serve. This is Questions for Press, and I ask that you click like, subscribe, and share this video if any part of the message touches your heart. I love you. Blessings and blessings. Love will find a way. Everything else will find an excuse. Share this video. I freaking love you. Bye.